the heat, guys, the heat. What aesthetics to do to Mariam? Listen, I'm complaining, but I'm not complaining, okay? It's giving or whatever. I think it's cute, all right? So, yeah, let's just suffer in silence, right? Okay, guys, I'm gonna take this off real quick because we don't need this in today's video. It don't got no business in here today. Hello, my loves. You're welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mimi, and I do hope you enjoy today's video. I'm filming a skincare routine video today. Yeah. Also, I want to start doing this thing on my channel where I share an updated skincare routine video with you guys every single year. Cause it really doesn't make sense to be filming multiple skincare routine videos if the products are not gonna change. Hang on, I have a phone call. One second, guys. Hello? I really have to start putting my phone on silence when I'm recording cause I don't want no interruptions. Like I was saying, guys, it doesn't make sense to film multiple skincare routine videos when the products are not gonna change. So what I intend to do is, as in when I drop certain products, products I don't use anymore, maybe because the products just don't be working for my skin or when i include new skincare products into my routine that i'm not going to show in today's video or you're not going to see in today's video i keep you guys posted and updated in an updated skincare routine video every single year i hope that works now a lot of you have been saying i have glowy skin healthy skin nice skin beautiful skin all the skins according to you guys which is not entirely false and it's not entirely true why do I say this? I like to keep it 100 with you guys so that we all, me included, have realistic expectations when it comes to the things that we discuss on here on this channel. Back in 2020, yes, we're doing a little story time. I had this severe episode of acne breakouts that left this side of my skin really damaged. I'm talking severe acne scarring, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, you name it. So I say this to say my skin is far from perfect. Do I have bad skin? Am I breaking out constantly? No, I have fairly good skin, but is it perfect? No, it's not. I'm still working on my skin. If anything, my skin is under construction, is being improved with the products I'm about to show you guys in today's video. It's been helping my skin, it's been improving my skin. I'll show you guys how I apply them, what goes on top of what. So if this sounds like one you might be interested in, then keep on watching. All right guys, when it comes to my skincare routine, I like to keep it really, really simple. Sorry, I'm just applying a bit of water. This is just a little spray bottle that I fill with water just to keep my skin dumb throughout this video, okay? I don't want to get up, wash my face, come back and sit down. That's a lot of work, mean it, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, like I was saying, I keep it really simple. So I have three simple steps in my skincare routine and that's to cleanse, treat, and moisturize, basically. My skin is more on the sensitive side, so I have oily, acne-prone skin. So I'm very careful the type of products I put on my skin because the slightest thing will break me out. The first step in my skincare routine is to cleanse my face. I'm not a facial cleanser type of person or a facial wash type of person. I am a black soap girl. This is the deal for me. And you guys are not new to the Nupari Neem black soap here on my channel. I've been using the soap for close to two years, if not two years, and I've never switched it up. It works for me, so that's just it. I like it. I buy the Neem one also because Neem has antibacterial properties, antifungal properties. So it prevents future breakouts. And also when you do breakouts, it helps clear the breakouts faster. So I love this soap and I'll highly recommend it. You guys can tell I'm running out of the good stuff. Have I repurchased? No. So I saw a friend of mine advertise this black soap. If it's black soap, I'll get it. I saw a friend of mine advertise this black soap on her Snapchat and she makes the soap herself. Now, this person has really clear skin, good skin. In fact, glass skin, if I'm being honest. And I felt if this is what you use, then it might as well be great. You know, so I decided to try it out for this big pill or big bowl of black soap. I'm really happy with the quantity because it's definitely worth the money. I am not mad at it. Will I recommend this? I've not started using this yet. I want to completely run out of this before I start using this. So if 
there's any black soap I can vouch for for now is the Nokwari Neem Black Soap. I'll let you guys know how my skin does with this black soap in my next updated skincare routine video. You guys already know the drill. So once I'm done cleansing my skin, I like to go in with the next stage or next step in my skincare routine and that is to treat. Now when it comes to treating, I hydrate and then I go in with the treatment serum. Anytime I'm using a serum, I like to use my serum on a dumb skin or skin that is dumbed, not dripping wet, but just dumbed, you know, so there's water, but there's no water. I, I don't know how to explain dumbed, but it's not dripping wet. It's just spritz your face a little, just like how you spray setting spray on your face. Yeah, that kind of wet, but not dripping wet. So. For my hydrating serum, I use the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. I love this stuff so much. It keeps my skin really healthy, really glowy, really firm. So I put a drop here, my forehead, this cheek, this cheek, my chin sometimes, and then I rub it in gently. That feels really nice. This serum feels, the closest thing I will compare this serum to in terms of how it feels will be the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. You know that gluey, sticky feel you get with that primer? This is exactly how this serum dries down. It feels so nice. And one thing about this serum is it's high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. So this also helps with the dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And anytime you break out, it reduces the swelling and the redness you get from acne. Right, so I love this product so much. I just use a tad bit on my face. When it comes to rubbing my products into guys, I like doing it in an upward motion, like so. All right guys, let's move on to the next stage or step, which is my treatment serum stage. And I use the Ordinary Azalic Suspension 10%. This I use to help with my dark spots. I just use like a little bit. So I use on my forehead, cheek, and then I use a bit on my chin. This is a multifunctional brightening formula. Vitamin C doesn't really work well for my skin. So this is what I use to even out my skin tone and also help with my blemishes because this acid, azelaic acid, is a brightening agent. So it does exactly what vitamin C will do to the skin or for the skin. I just gently massage that in like so. The next step is to moisturize my skin. When it comes to moisturizer, if there's anything that I switch up a lot in my skincare routine is moisturizer. I just love trying out moisturizers, you know, new moisturizers. I just love that. But my favorite moisturizer is definitely going to be the Saturday Skin Water Gel Cream or Moisturizer. That moisturizer is heavily unfortunately it's not easy to come by so i don't have one on hand currently so i use the cerave daily moisturizing lotion i love the cerave brand personally because it's very gentle on the skin if you have sensitive skin it's really great for people with sensitive skin problematic skin acne prone skin very good now this particular lotion though is for people with normal to dry skin I don't have this skin type, but it doesn't break me out. It works for me perfectly, so I don't mind it. It's very lightweight. It moisturizes and helps restore the protective skin barrier. So I just like it. I just use this much. Yeah. And it has three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. CeraVe products, almost all of them have three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid or niacinamide. Hyaluronic acid is very good for the skin. It's a humectant. So what that simply means is it helps your skin retain moisture or water to help give your skin that supple, dewy, plump look. And that's really nice. It just gives this glow, you know, just like niacinamide would. But niacinamide is an antioxidant. I just gently massage it into my skin like so. And then I'm gonna add a tad bit 
to my under eye area right here just to give my under eye some hydration and that's what I do all right guys I'll be back I'm just going to let the moisturizer soak into my skin before I go in with my sunscreen because if I don't let it dry down I'm going to have that flaky patchy look with my sunscreen that I don't like so I'll be back alrighty love so we're back after two three minutes I normally like my moisturizer to fully soak into my skin before I go in with sunscreen because I find that when I go in right after applying moisturizer with the sunscreen it leaves this patchy flaky results that I hate I extremely hate that look so I give it time to fully soak into my skin so my skin is not any way or in any form wet and then I go in with the sunscreen the sunscreen I use is this La Roche Posay 60 face broad spectrum SPF 60 this is Athelia's clear skin sunscreen it is oil free is oil free it has no fragrance and it won't cause breakouts i live for these phrases when it comes to products that i'm applying on my skin because shall i can't risk it okay recently i saw a video of a lady saying this is how much sunscreen you need to apply on your face so you have to apply a generous amount on this finger this finger as well and that's how much sunscreen you need for your face due to your neck don't forget the neck chow don't forget the neck you don't want to everybody's gonna age okay but sunscreen helps in slowing down the process it gives you that youthful glow youthful look it doesn't only protect you from the harmful uv rays of the sun but it helps slow down the aging process there are people that age quicker than others it's just because of the simple healthy habits and proper caring of the skin that some people do as compared to other people so eating well drinking lots of water exercising and using sunscreen honestly so i'm gonna do what i saw the lady do i'm gonna apply sunscreen here okay and then here this sunscreen is pretty thick so this is how my sunscreen I'm using right now this sunscreen is water resistant so if you're going to the pool you can apply this on your body your face before you go into the water if you don't want to tan so yeah I'm gonna do that right now apply the sunscreen to my face this sunscreen doesn't leave a white cast. However, if you don't rub it into your skin really, really well, you're going to think you have, you're going to have that white residue, you know, but if you rub it into your skin very well, it leaves this beautiful glow and whatever is left of the sunscreen just melts into your skin, leaving this beautiful, beautiful glow now it doesn't leave that shiny shiny oily look that most sunscreen leaves on the face it doesn't do that this one really dries down matte if i'm being honest because this is dry oops sorry it says dry touch so this is semi matte but it's still very hydrating guys i know i may be looking crazy right now but it's a necessary evil <laughs> okay it's a necessary step right now i just have to take my time don't forget your eye area i need sunscreen too gently rub into your skin i know i'm gonna have sunscreen on my hairline so i'm very gentle and careful because if not i'll have to clean the sunscreen that will get on my hairline <laughs> i'm looking like a ghost right now aren't i <laughs> all right guys so let me take my time and massage my sunscreen into my skin i'll be back all right guys so i went to use a mirror to see exactly what i was doing but this is an up close look of what you get with this sunscreen it's so beautiful i love the glow that you get from the sunscreen so beautiful 
I then finish everything up with this Avon Lip Dew Kiss Balm. This is a lip balm, it smells so good. I love, love it. Yeah, it's really moisturizing and hydrating for the lip. And that's it for my morning time routine. For the nighttime routine, I don't really change much when it comes to products. I just substitute a few things, but most of the products are very constant. So I would cleanse with my Nocarinim Black Soap. I would hydrate with the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% zinc 1% and then for the treatment serum I would change from the ordinary azelaic acid to this CeraVe Resurfing Retinol Serum. Retinol is a game changer in everyone's skincare routine. However, I use mine in the evening because it's pretty sensitive to the sun. But if you should use it in the morning, don't forget to use your sunscreen. All right, I love, love this product so much because it has made a huge improvement in the way my skin looks. It has helped me with my scars, with the hyperpigmentation and dark spots. It's really, really great. Listen, if you don't have any type of retinol in your routine, I think you should get it because it's really good for the skin. Now, this one, just like any other CeraVe product, it has three essential ceramides, it has licorice root extract, and it has niacinamide, all right? So I'm just quickly going to read the, the synopsis or the description of the back so you see exactly what this product does. So it's, it says, a gently even skin tone, helping to fade the appearance of post-acne marks and pores for a refined complexion while helping to restore the protective skin barrier. Bam, bam, bam. I love this product so much, I love it. Now, after I'm done with the treatment serum, I go in with a moisturizer, and this time I don't use this daily lotion anymore from the CeraVe brand. I use the Your Good Skin Pro Vitamin Overnight Cream. This is a night moisturizer. I love this moisturizer so much. The funny thing is, I had never heard of this brand. I Nobody recommended it to me. I saw it on the website that I get my skincare products from, which is Beauty Mark. I don't even think they know. I just order my things on the website and it's delivered to me at home. But that's not the point. I don't know, there was something about this product that drew me in. I don't know if it's the graphics. It has this beautiful gray gold type of thing going on. It's just really pretty, but I've never looked back. I love, love how it, it makes my skin feel so moisturized, so hydrated and very, very supple. I love, love it. It has ingredients like green tea, vitamin C, E and B5, which are all great for your skin. And it says nourishes and cares, rebalancing your skin while you sleep. And that's a fact. When I wake up in the morning, I have that glow. I really, really do. Yeah, guys, so when it comes to the Your Good Skin Pro Vitamin Overnight Cream, I love, love this stuff. I think this is my third tube. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's how much I love it. So when I'm done moisturizing, that's pretty much it. Oh, guys, this next one, which brings me to the point I'm about to make. Sometimes you may think your products are not working or they're not giving you the results you need or expect. Sometimes it could be you're using ingredients in two different products that don't pair well together. And here's an example. So anytime I use the retinol from the CeraVe brand, I don't use my acne side 5% gel. This is a benzoyl peroxide spots cream so when i'm using this when i use this i don't use this because they don't work well together benzoyl peroxide doesn't work well with retinol and retinol doesn't work well with benzoyl peroxide benzoyl peroxide doesn't work well with vitamin c vitamin c doesn't work well with retinol benzoyl peroxide doesn't work well with salicylic acid retinol doesn't work well with salicylic acid vitamin c doesn't work well with salicylic acid so you need to make sure you're reading the ingredients of your products to know what works with what and what doesn't work with what. However, if you want to use these two ingredients together, as much as you can pair them or layer them on top of each other, you can either use one in the morning, one in the evening, you know, or vice versa. Just don't use the two at the same time. You have to space them out. So use one in the morning and the other in the evening. Just be sure to use your sunscreen if you use either of them in the morning because they are very sensitive to the sun. And that's basically 
repeat that for my skincare routine, guys. These are the products that I use that have been helping my skin, giving me this glow. Can you guys see? I put down a few questions in my notes that I frequently get asked. I think you guys may want the answers to these questions. And also, if I don't touch on a question that you may have, please leave it down in the comment section below and I'll try and get to your comments. So the first question I have here is, do you use a toner? Unfortunately, I don't use a toner. I've not had any good experience with toner so far, but let me know if you use a toner and you have my skin type that works for you. I'd love to look into it. The next question I have here is, do you use a facial scrub or do you use a chemical exfoliator unfortunately i'm not really into facial scrubs i don't think anybody should be scrubbing their face i'm a body scrub type of girl i scrub my body but not my face chemical exfoliators i've not really had one that has worked well with my skin i used to use the ordinary glycolic acid one but it wasn't working it was breaking me out so i discontinued i think i gave it out because i don't see it anywhere in my skincare stuff so no I don't have that anymore, but again, if you know a good chemical exfoliator that works for you, please do well to leave it down in the comment section below. I would love that. And also guys, even if you're exfoliating, it's best to do it once a week at most because you can't be exfoliating every single day. It's not good for your skin. It doesn't help your skin. This next question I have is, do you use a facial mask? No, I don't use a facial mask. I <laughs> Anything I don't use, guys, just know I had a very awkward experience with it. I remember in the past, I would mix up things in the kitchen and use on my face, and I had a very bad experience with that. So I think that's where I get my phobia from. But I know people use clay mask, charcoal mask from brands that have been certified and brands that have correctly formulated these products not what i was doing at home but i still have that phobia but let me know in the comment section below if you know any good brands that make really good facial mask and i would look into it and who knows i might give it a try however when i go to the grocery store on days where I feel like giving myself that aesthetically pleasing, relaxing, pampering, self-care moment, I pick up a facial mask from the grocery store or local markets or supermarkets, sorry. But I don't get it because I'm going to get any type of benefit from it. I just get it because I feel it's nice. Like, it's just like having that thing on your face is nice not because my skin is going to get anything in particular from the mask does that make sense the next question i have is do you use an eye cream no i do not use an eye cream when it comes to hydrating my under eye or my eye area i just use my moisturizer so i apply an extra layer to my under eye just to give it the needed hydration that it needs i've never been one to invest in an eye cream never done it I don't, I don't know. I normally get this question and I can understand why. Anytime I post my skincare products, I see comments or questions in my DMs like, is this great for dark skinned people? Maybe because I'm light skinned, but I don't know, honestly. And like I said, my skin is more on the sensitive side. So I like to believe my products are very gentle on the skin. So whether you're light skin or dark skin, it should work fine for you. I think when it comes to skincare products, what should be most important is knowing your skin type and getting products that work for your skin type and your specific skin needs. But again, I'm not an expert, so please do your research and get products that work for you. All right, so the last and final question I have is how do I take off my makeup? When it comes to taking off my makeup, I use the Garnier Micellar Water. This is what I use and it says, even for sensitive skin. I live for phrases like this when it comes to products. So yeah, I would use this to, or oh, I will use this to clean off all my makeup and then I follow up with my skincare routine. So I'll double cleanse with my facial cleanser and in that order. And that's how I take off all my makeup. Can you guys see that beautiful glow? I did tell you the sunscreen is going to melt into my skin completely after some time. And look at that finish, guys. So beautiful. Anyway, that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope it was fun. It was engaging. I hope you learned a thing or two. Don't forget to like this video, guys. Give it a big thumbs up because it helps my channel and it helps my video. Also like it if you found it helpful. Comments, I love hearing from you guys. 
if you happen to see a question in the comment section and you think you have the perfect answer to or you think you can help out please reply to that comment let's learn from each other let's keep the conversation going down in the comment section below and yeah it's youtube there are a lot of ends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'm going to give you guys a moment of silence to subscribe to my channel in three two one thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and once again thank you very much for watching today's video like i always say god bless you and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye